Hello YouTube, this will, um, this is definitely my favorite sample in my collection by far. And right now, this is a uh, uranite sample. And it's nearly com completely pure, and I'll show you that, because it's been grinded down flat on both sides, and it shows that it is nearly pure uranite. Now, the green stuff that's kind of showing up on the camera, it's actually not green. It's kind of sparkly. You can see in the light. It's uh, pyrite. Those are swirls of pyrite throughout the whole rock. And so I believe this sample was found in Maine. Uranite is only soluble in sulfuric, nitric, or hydrofluoric acids. And I believe that's one of the ways, um, if you're kind of an amateur chemist, you can synthesize or for uh, yellow cake, just for a small sample. Grade. So, its crystalline structure is isometric, and that gives it kind of a unique appearance, I think. And the moss scale hardness is 5 to 6. It's a very dense rock. And I forgot to mention, this is a secondary uranium ore, which means that the it has thorium, radium, a bunch of other elements that come with the decay process of this. Uh, it's commonly known in Germany as pitch blend, which comes from its black color. And oh, some of the most pure samples come from Shinko Lobwe uh, from the Democratic Republic of Congo, and that is where an initial source of the uranium for the Manhattan Project comes from. And as you can imagine, this is an extremely active sample. I'll put the Geiger counter up to it, and I'll show you about what it is. As you can see, it's nearly 400 microsieverts. So 400 microsieverts an hour, and that translates into I think 0.4 sieverts an hour. And that was on its 100 times setting. So, and this is a pretty accurate Geiger counter. This is an extremely active and pure sample. I've yet to find one anywhere that is as pure as this. If you uh, if you have one. Please put a video, video in the response, and I'd love to see it. So, a few videos will be coming out in the next few weeks. Like I said, I won't be making some for a little bit. I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you later.